All right, let's keep our focus on the war in Gaza. The Gaza Strip is facing a humanitarian catastrophe after five months of the devastating conflict between Israel and Hamas. For the president of the Palestinian en residents, that is, of the Palestinian enclave, it's raining Israeli bombs and the aid airdrops. The U.S. has joined other countries in airdropping aid into Gaza. The aid is hoped to provide a lifeline to the people in an attempt to bridge the gap between the scanty aid deliveries on land and what is needed to ward off famine in the enclave. With America airdropping aid into Gaza and the Gazans also awaiting aid through a possible sea route, a ship with humanitarian aid for Gaza remains docked in Cyprus a day before it was due to begin its journey. Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant sailed with the Navy to the shores of the Gaza Strip to take a closer look at the work being done on the sea corridor to the enclave. We will bring the aid through a maritime route that is coordinated with the U.S. on the security and humanitarian side, with the assistance of the Emirates on the civil side and appropriate inspection in Cyprus. We will arrive with goods that will arrive by international organizations with American assistance. Israeli inspectors will also be in the Cypriot port of Larnaca, scrutinizing humanitarian cargoes bound for southern Gaza. Other than Cyprus, aid trucks have been entering the south of Gaza through the Egypt-controlled Rafah crossing and the Israeli-controlled Kerem Shalom crossing as well. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.